We created the bite to bring you the reality of fishing. The ups and downs, pain and glory. We represent the everyday angler, because that's what we are. Some days, you can't keep the fish off the hook. But sometimes they just seem to not like you. This channel is about good days and bad days. Either way, we capture it. All right, guys, what I'm rocking today is the orange milky. I got a little egg hook right there. I'm rocking about a two and a half foot leader to this little setup right here. It's a little inconventional. I would maybe use an inline torpedo weight right there, but I just have a sliding egg sinker style weight, a couple of protector beads, a swivel, snap swivel setup, and my float. All that is rigged up to a knot up top so it can slide and stop. And I'm gonna bounce that around on the bottom till I get into a steelhead. You guys see my bobber over there? Just bouncing along that bright orange thing floating through the water out there. We just want to see that disappear. Just want to see it go whoosh and be gone. There was so many fish being caught this day. We ourselves couldn't get a fish to the bank. Broke my leader. I told I just said he would get one like what two minutes ago? Yeah, you called it. Okay, Koa is on a nice little little buck, it looks like. Oh, that's a good fish, bro. Oh! How uh, feel to get your line tight for a minute? Oh, that's great. No, I was just playing around with it too much. I didn't want to muscle it in on this rod yet. Oh, please don't lose my phone. No, no. Oh, yeah, did not go over the edge of my waders. <laughs> the things you do to get your float back. How's your look, phone? Look at the level. Like oh, this yeah, pocket, this pocket is full of water. Like for real, <laughs> see? <laughs> my my jacket you is got all it. wet. You got it though. But I got it. Oh man, how wet is all my stuff? Oh no. I'm all right, I'm good. I'm <laughs> being primarily spinner anglers, and this being a bobber and bead show, we basically brought knives to a gunfight. But thankfully we brought our buddy Kakoa. Looks like Kakoa's on a nice fish right now. Look at that beautiful clipper steelhead right there. That's nice redemption. Yeah, that's a good redemption. That one's a little shinier than the one you lost. It's gotta feel good, shinier. right? Yeah. yeah. On the DRO, just ran the outside seam. First pass, actually. That was the first cast with this uh, this setup. Same bead that they hit last you time. Yep. Yeah. He got redemption on that one he lost. Nice catch, bro. Way to shake the skunk off of our day. He has been priming his bead game and is right at home. See if it's clipped yet. Yep. Look, looks clipped. He ended up banking two really nice steelhead to take home with him. That one's nicer than the other one. That thing is white, dude. Yeah. Ash is gonna be pissed. <laughs> you know, he like left to the car. We're like, we're fishing this hole more. You can never complain about a bad day of fishing. You can only learn and make the changes necessary to do better on the next trip out. And besides, we reunited with some old buddies and made some new ones as well. 
we will definitely be back for redemption with new techniques to perfect. You see, the fact is, the moment you think you have something figured out or you're an expert at something, you close your mind to learning. And in this sport, if you don't have all the tools in your tackle box, you won't be getting as many fish to the bank.